Hi Scorpio, welcome to Soap Quest. I'm Spence. Welcome back if you're a subscriber and welcome in if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. This is going to be a weekly reading for you for the week of September 27th, <laughs> I have to remember, through October 3rd. Yes. Okay, so we are in Libra season right now, and we just had the autumnal equinox, change of season. We're coming into autumn in the northern hemisphere, so it definitely feels like a change of season, but we're also coming into Mercury retrograde this week. Now, last um, yeah, seven to ten days, we were in the pre-shadow right, of Mercury retrograde, and so some of the ground that was covered then is going to be covered now, and then back and forth again. So... It's a time of, of reconsideration and deep thinking with Mercury. Mercury is about the mind. And in Libra, it's thinking about what Libra is, which is balance, fairness, how we treat others, our partnerships, marriages, family members, right? It's relational. Libra is the relationship house. So Mercury retrograde, you know, for you, Scorpio, is going to be in your 12th house. I think that's going to be pretty deep for you. Okay, it's a lot of internal stuff. 12th house is kind of the house of, the, of secrets and maybe some stuck energy that you want to let go of. It's also the house of spirituality and coming to grips with allowing for that connection to help you sort of cleanse and clear out things that you want to let go of, right? So 12th house stuff is deep. I also want to say that that is in a square with Pluto, Mercury is, in your third house of communication. So this could definitely be arguments and power struggles with, you know, relational things. But please know that it's probably because Mercury retrograde is in your 12th house. So just understand that about yourself and think about that a little bit so that the, maybe you won't jump into contention with others as much, Scorpio, because you realize you're going through deep stuff inside. Then we also have a beautiful energy that's going to help you out with this. I've got two cards already. Um, and that is that there is a trine also during the Mercury retrograde with Jupiter. And I love that because Jupiter expands what it touches and brings really good energy with a trine. And for you, that's in your fourth house of home. So it bodes well for healing, doesn't it? Right? and growth in relationships. So take heart because you can definitely you know, have reconciliations and forgiveness and things that need to happen. But be careful with Pluto in your communications house because that can be difficult, ugly words and stuff. And you know, you don't want to kind of dive into that <laughs> if you can. You want to try to stay in your Libra balanced scales, right? All right. I know I'm talking to Scorpio, but we all have that ability. <laughs> okay, one more for you. There it is. Excellent. Okay, so I just shuffled and pulled three cards from the Spirit Messages deck by John Holland for you. And now I'm going to pull a nine from the Lightseer's Tarot and read that. That's by Chris Ann. We're going to go horizontally, vertically, and big picture. So stay with me, all right? And while I'm laying out the nine spread from the Lightseer's, why don't you take three deep cleansing breaths with me, get into synergy, bring some oxygen into the brain, lower the cortisol, the stress, right? Feels, feels good, makes you feel better. Okay, I have shuffled these plenty before turning on the camera. I'm going to do a little more while I'm on camera. Yep, some are flipping over, so I'm going to lay those. Couple, and then cut the deck. Lots of shuffling before I turn the camera on. That way I don't have to make too much noise or take too much time shuffling like, you know, 20 times. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read these to you, tell you what they are, and then I'm going to show you every card on this table. All right? So you, your first three cards that you got, the spirit messages, you have new beginnings, seek, and vulnerability. That vulnerability is because of Mercury retrograde in your 12th house. And new beginnings and seek, I think, is very much about seeking out the way to let go of what you need to from the 12th house and seek peace. Seeking vulnerability means healing and finding peace within. I love that. All right, we have lovers, eight of swords, three of pentacles, mm -hmm. two of cups, world, tower, six of cups, three of swords, moon. Okay. 
So the first thing I want to say is, Scorpio, if something goes down and there is a terrible argument or whatever and somebody's like, that's it, I'm out, I'm out of here, <laughs> and that kind of happens and there's a tower moment where somebody says they're leaving or you do, um, just remember Mercury retrograde, very often we really rethink things and come back for a second go around and some, you know, so things that happen in Mercury retrograde, we usually have to return to. That's kind of the thing about the retrograde. All right, so let's start with these cards. New beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon for you. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. New beginnings. A new direction. So that's positive. Very good. Then seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. I love that. So new beginnings. Seek. Going inside, right? 12th house, that's deep stuff. And asking yourself, what it is that you want to do now? Something, a new way of being that allows for a little bit more vulnerability and hopefully because of that, for more love, more sharing, right? Vulnerability, this is a confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. Because it's not. So, new beginnings seek and vulnerability. So whatever it is that you are beginning right now, it may make you feel vulnerable. It may make you feel like you're treading into new territory. And you're trying to stay as much feeling like yourself as possible while also trying to learn how to adjust and do new things and try new ways of seeing life because life is changing for all of us so much that we're all having to do that. On the bottom of the deck, internally, subconsciously, which might be bubbling up to the surface for you now, you are in your feels, which makes sense, Scorpio, you're deep. You're the deep, deep, deep abyss of the ocean, man, you're deep. And you're looking at it, Mercury retrograde, assessment, the root of things. And because it's in your 12th, the house of the hidden, of the house of stuff that we did, we, you know, karma, the stuff we're cleansing and clearing, right? The plug-in that we have with source so that we can help to heal and evolve ourselves. I think you're doing that. I think you're you're really looking at it and trying to bring yourself into peace, a balance, a temperance. Trying to allow for this and that to both be true. To allow for your way of looking at it, someone else's way of looking at it, work, home, balance in all things. I think thinking very deeply about how to bring more peace. I mean, look at these three pictures. They just look so peaceful. Don't they? I think you're trying to find your peace of mind. I think that that is what you're seeking. And I do think that that puts you in a state of vulnerability, which is actually a really good thing, Scorpio. That's a really, really good thing. Because when you're sensitive and open and honest and true, then you can really have what this is. Lovers. Let's go across the top. This is on the horizontal. We have the lover's card. I think that you're looking in the mirror and I think you're asking yourself, why do I get all tangled up in stuff? What is it about working with someone, about getting along with someone that I find to be so <sighs> confounding? Does, does being with a particular person in your life make you feel, um, I guess, just maybe doubtful? Do you, do you have self-doubts about the relationship, about whether you can build a life together? Is that a question you might be asking yourself right now? 
Because when with the Seven of Pentacles under the deck, it's, you know, one of the questions of this card is, is it worth it? You know, with the Temperance card, can we blend together and be at peace and in balance with each other? I definitely love this person, King of Cups. So I think you're thinking very deeply about the relationship and how to work it out. You also like this person a whole lot. And they've helped you to realize dreams and learn life lessons. This has been someone that you've, you know, that meant the world to you. And you're having an epiphany about it. An aha moment. And maybe a, a breakdown or a break up that feels really emotional at this time. Let's, re let's remember, though, that Mercury retrograde in your 12th house is going to make you overthink and doubt yourself about all the stuff inside that you haven't been able to perfect yet. You know? This is you doubting yourself and asking yourself whether you're good enough for this person or whether or not this person is going to be with you and build a life with you whether they love you as much as you love them, right? It's going to be that obsessive kind of thinking unless you get a, a hold on it. And I think you will. You're looking at the past and you're looking at the pain. In all relationships, very often when we love someone very, very deeply, we get scars on our hearts. Everyone gets disappointed. Everyone gets hurt one way or another. And it's part of life. And you may feel like you've been drowning in it. Right? Maybe the Pisces full moon was deep for you, Scorpio. It's sister water. We just had that full moon last week or so. And I'm wondering if there was perhaps talk of a breakup, if whether the relationship was over. But I don't see that that's what you really want. It seems to me like you can work it out and talk about the breakdown of the conversation of what happened and break it down and be as vulnerable as, as possible for this new beginning. Now, if it was a breakup and that's just that and that's your final decision, I think the final decision will be final once Mercury retrograde is over, if that's what you're wanting. If not, and you're wanting to reconcile or wanting to work on the relationship, that is absolutely 100% possible by uh, allowing for the changeover, allowing for this in the center of your reading today to come to closure, getting closure on the problem. Not necessarily the relationship if you don't want it to end, but you have to get closure on what this was. They're right next to each other in your reading. Closure on this, the tower. So what was the tower? That's the question, okay? Is it, was it an argument? Was it the breakdown of the relationship because of hurt feelings or, you know, someone not knowing what was going on with the moon? Um, let's go down the vertical. So lovers, two of cups. This is a serious relationship. This is somebody that you love deeply. And with the six of cups, this is somebody you've loved for a long time. Somebody you might have known since, you know, like high school sweethearts or something like that. You've known this person a long time and you love them. This is your person. It looks to me. Then we've got the Eight of Swords, but you're doubting yourself a lot. Mercury retrograde will do this to you when it's in your 12th house. So don't let it. Instead, come to closure on whatever it is, right? You can come to closure on the heartbreak. You can come to closure on the self-doubt. You can come to closure on whatever this was for you. And for all, you know, all of you Scorpios, it may be different things. And it may be different degrees of pain and hurt. For some of you, it may have been betrayal. But for some of you, it may have just been hurt feelings. That's something you're going to be asking yourself right now when you're doing your assessment. But yes, it's worth it. Because this is nothing to sneeze at. This is deep love. And lovers, two of cups, six of cups, that is soulmate love. This is a twin flame love far as I can see. And if it's your twin flame, then you came to this planet to go through life together and spiritually evolve with each other and to be light for the planet, right? That's what twin flame is. So if that's the case, 
you know, this is a glitch and something that you need to have closure on. Closure is important. It's the center card of your reading today. Three of Pentacles, working on it. Working together, cooperating with each other, being honest, building something that something that is a guiding light for you. Okay? Building something that like I what I'm getting from the this light, this you know, stoplight thing, um, it's like Working on your communication so that you know when to slow down, don't say what you might have said. To stop, definitely don't say what you might have said. And then when to go and be vulnerable and speak words from your heart that are more loving. So it's kind of like that, like red light, green light. You know when to go and you know when not to go there. Okay, and when I say go there, I'm talking about this. Emotional breakdown. Right? So... If that, if that happens, then realize that the best way to deal with it, of course, is to be as honest as you can be. And instead of inflicting pain, right, or allowing them to inflict pain, you want to get closure on the actual issue. Instead of poking holes in the relationship, instead poke holes in the problem, right? And then dissect the problem and then that way the problem is what's torn down not the relationship all right Scorpio that's what I've got for you this week I want to wish you a very very good week and I will be here for you again next week and I'll see you then have kindness reverence and gratitude if you can every day and I'll come back to you thank you so much